So with the final WTA 1000 event completed for the year, we have the finals for the WTA set now. And they are set in stone. We've got the top eight players. We've also got some rankings still to talk about next week because Shanghai is happening for the men. But let's go have a look at who won last week. There's only one tournament that was completed yesterday, and that was Iga Swiatek winning the China Open against Samson over 6262, winning her first 1000 trophy of the year, which is crazy because last year she won four. And after this event, it's official the WTA finals have been set. Let's go have a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings over the last week. Started with Ostapenko, she goes up four spots, number 13 in the world after having a good tournament in China. Samson over after making her second 1000 trophy final she goes up six spots number 16 in the world and kostchuk also going up five spots to 39 in the world after having a good week last week and with ostapenko and samson over they've actually qualified for the elite trophy which is what the wta finals it's kind of like the second finals where players between 9 and 20 in the world actually get to play a finals event themselves so those two have actually qualified for that event having with the players have gone down in the rankings krajikova she's gone down six spots number 18 after losing the points from strava last year unfortunately we don't have that tournament this year so she didn't have a chance to regain those points mertens also dropping down 12 spots number 41 in the world and parks dropped down 10 spots number 53 in the world after dropping points from this time last year so let's start with the wta rankings because things are starting to look really interesting heading into the final weeks of the year sabalenka she's still at number one just ahead of sviantek at number two goff still at number three with pagula not too far behind at number four and rabakin at number five zachary comes in at number six with jabur at number seven on at eight mukover at nine and garcia rounds out the top 10 for this week so no changes to the rankings but remember in about a week or so all the points from last year's WTA Finals will drop off, meaning Garcia, who was the WTA Finals champion last year, will probably drop pretty far down the rankings, and we will get a couple of shuffles in the middle there as well. So keep an eye out for that in the next few weeks. Over to the race of the finals now, and like I said, we have a complete list. Sabalenka still at number one, with Fiontech at two, Goff at three, Rabakina at four, Pagula still at number five, of course, qualifying last week, Von Drusova at number six, with Mukova at number seven, and Ons Jabur at number eight, and those three have officially qualified qualified for the WTA Finals. So that means those are the top eight players that are going to play the WTA Finals now. Zachary stays at nine and Keys at number 10. And just like Ostapenko and Samson Over, those two players will be playing the Elite Trophy, but also there'll be alternates for the WTA Finals. So Zachary, if somebody pulls out of the top eight, will play in their spot. And we know Mukova has been struggling with injuries the last couple of tournaments. Also pulled out this week from an event. So if Mukova was to pull out of the WTA Finals, Zachary would replace her in that spot. And then Keys would be the next replacement after that. So there is still a chance that some players can qualify depending on what happens with injuries, especially with Mukova, who has been the most injured lately. Over to the men's rankings now, and we have no changes because we are smack bang in the middle of Shanghai. Djokovic at number one, Elkarez at number two, Medvedev at three, Sinner at four, Runo at five, not too far behind there, is Sidney Pass at six, Rublev at seven, Fritz at eight, Rude at nine, and Zverev at number 10. But I can tell you at this point, there's a lot of those players that have already lost early at this tournament, including Medvedev, Runa, and Zverev. And of course, Djokovic isn't playing in Shanghai. So there's a big up possibility there that we get some changes to that top 10 this time next week. The race of the finals, and officially, we still only have three players that have qualified with Djokovic, Elkris, Medvedev. Now, Sinner has qualified, but we'll get to that next week when it's been becomes more uh, actually official in the race of the finals. Right now, he is not qualified as of last week. So it's a little bit confusing, but yeah, he'll be qualified next week. Uh, we're just a week ahead. Rublev comes in at five with Sitipas at six, Zverev at seven, Runa at eight, Fritz at nine, and Rude at number 10. And as I mentioned, Zverev and Runa have both lost in Shanghai early, and Fritz and Rude at this stage are still in the tournament. So there's a chance there we could get some changes to the bottom half of that top eight. And with Sinner qualifying as of next week, we only have four spots up for grabs to a big chance for Fritz and Rude this time next week to get themselves in that top eight with only a few weeks left of the season. There it is. That is the race of the finals. The ladies' race of the finals is complete. Now, we will keep track of it over the next few weeks because it does matter what position those players are as well because... One and two don't play. So Sviantec and Sabalenka at this stage and probably until the end of the year will be still number one and two. They will get in their own groups and then it depends on where the other players kind of lie. And we're going to keep an eye on Mukova as well because of course she has got injuries. She did pull out of the tournament next week in China. What do you reckon? Do you like the WTA finals race? Do you like the fact that we've got those eight players playing? It's the first time I think in a very long time that all the finalists of Grand the Grand Slams this year have actually qualified 
And the only player that hadn't made a Grand Slam final this year from that eight was Pagula. And she's been super consistent making quarterfinals. So probably the strongest race to the finals and strongest top eight we could have asked for. Zachary coming in for Mukov is not that bad either because Zachary's been pretty good lately too. So I think it's going to be a really epic tournament in Cancun in a couple of weeks. But let me know down in the comments below. Has anything shocked you in the rankings this week?